Last week I produced liquid carbon dioxide using some bottle preforms. Unfortunately they showed signs of stress after multiple uses. This week I've got a different way to produce liquid CO2 that's a little more exciting and a lot less dangerous. I've taken a short section of drinking straw and filled it with dry ice. I then clamp both ends and submerge it in water. Once under water it will begin to warm up and the dry ice will start to turn into a gas. The pressure will increase until it reaches the triple point and the CO2 starts to turn into a liquid. Given how thin the material of a drinking straw is, I was very surprised at how long the liquid CO2 actually lasted before the straw burst. There's a few interesting things going on here. The first is that the drinking straw is actually somewhat permeable to the carbon dioxide. You'll notice that before they burst, they're bubbling not just from the ends where they're clamped, but all along the length of the straw. So the CO2 is actually forcing its way through the plastic of the straw before the pressure rises so quickly that the straw is forced to burst. The second interesting thing is the echoing bubble. This isn't a new phenomenon. It's very well known has been studied for many decades. Some of the earliest high-speed videos were made trying to investigate what's going on when an explosion happens underwater. I'll put a link in the description below to one of these old videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please check out my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.